matches my bed sheet. Hi guys, it's Lou and I am in this lovely boudoir. Today I am going to do a sort of remake or retake on a video I did two years ago. And that was a product review on this bad boy right here. At the time it was called Beauty Keeper Back Sleeper. It's now called MyBackSleeper.com. And it is a pillow that helps you learn and train to sleep on your back. Why would you want to sleep on your back? Well, as you get older, you start to wake up to those lines on your chest and on your face. Good ones right here and right here. And they don't go away anymore. You go throughout your day and you think, oh, it's no big deal. And you look, oh my God, they're still there. Well, that's because our skin is less elastic. It has lost collagen. The skin itself has become thinner and not as forgiving. So in order to get those wrinkles to subside or to even go away, or to avoid them in the first place, sleeping on your back is the best thing you can do. People will do whatever they can to lay in the position that makes them feel the most comfortable and that's usually on the side because when you're in the womb you're all curled up in that lovely fetal position and it's cozy and the only way you're going to do that in bed without feeling weird is on your side. So when you're on your side, you're sleeping and you are carving out those wrinkles. You're smashing your face up against your pillow. What happens here, you've got the contoured midsection and the highest part of the contour goes behind your head. I mean neck, neck. And your head goes in the little dip. Oh, that's nice. And so while you're sleeping, that's how I sleep. You go to turn and you go, oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, I'm sleeping on my back. Okay, I'm gonna stay here. That's how it goes, that's what you say too. It's comfortable, it's not claustrophobic, and it just gently reminds you, don't turn over. After about six months of having this pillow out on the market, I started to get calls from day spas and plastic surgeons, and even the Dr. Oz show. It was very exciting, but it was too early in the process of the pillow. Anyway, the day spas and plastic surgery offices were saying, can I use this as a recovery aid after a procedure or a surgery that requires back sleep for optimum undisturbed healing? And I pretended that I already thought of that, but yeah, great idea. That's another great use for this is, say you get a, a chemical peel and your skin's all raw and you know, eventually that layer of skin is going to come off. But what you don't want to do is abrade that skin before it's ready. This pillow is perfect for that because you're not going to touch anything. And if you were to sleep on your side, on your pillow, this hand pillow, you're going to, you're going to slough off some very important skin. You know, sloughing off that band-aid that's protecting what's underneath and you don't want to do that prematurely because you just went through a lot of pain and money and time to do that so healing aid for that or let's say breast augmentation just an example because there's a lot of those um, I personally would not want to sleep on my side because even now with the boobs that I have that aren't newly surgeried on, it's a word, it is. I don't want to sleep on my side because they smash together and I can only imagine if you have new uh, implants in there or a reduction, we could go either way. In that case, this pillow is great for after plastic surgery, whether it be breast augmentation or tummy tuck rhinoplasty, any of those kinds of things. What I'm gonna talk about this time around is it's patented, it's fully patented. It's not pending, no. 
It's not a design patent. No. It's a full utility patent, which means the design itself, the way that it functions and the way that the product works, it is exclusively mine. Another reason I wanted to redo this video is because the last video, which I'm going to keep on my channel, I kept saying, um, I had no idea how much I actually said it until I watched the video and yet I posted it anyway because I didn't know how to edit. And I got mean comments, people are mean, but I don't blame you because it's so flippin' annoying. So I think, I say so a lot too. Can anybody do anything right? I don't know. So I can demonstrate how this works like I did last time. And last time, you know, I hadn't even, this was a new product to me the first time that I did a review. And I didn't even know if it was going to be something that I was going to pursue as a product. But after being on the market a little bit, I got a lot of, uh, a lot of people said thank you. And where has this been all my life? Get my camera off of the little tripod. Here it comes. Not so bad. It's not very cute. All right. So this is about as far as I can get to to film. So here I am sleeping on it. It's nice. Good neck support. If I do say so myself. There's my ooh, there's my chest. No wrinkles. Here's my face. Got some wrinkles, but it's not from sleeping. It's from stress. I'm so stressed. Okay, that's it. I hope you like this review on my back sleeper pillow. That's mybacksleeper.com, and I hope that you subscribe to my channel. It's Skip to My Lou. I'm Lou. And what a great product! Bye. Thank you.